Good morning, everybody. It's surprising. Well, as you can tell that it's getting closer to winter because it's still dark out and the sun is not up yet. Come on, Scooby. My dad has all day to, well, all morning to be out here. And I was able to finally get the vlog to upload. I had read that you gotta reset your browser for everything to get back to normal. So I had to switch from Mozilla to Firefox. I mean, from Safari, Mozilla to Safari to get the vlog upload. And so I reset Mozilla when I get back in. So that is a freaking relief. And I gotta see about where the paycheck is. Well, the extra paycheck for me getting employed a month is getting ready to order some books for this little girl. It's from a wish list, and the books are for Curious George. And I feel like I have a book on my nose right now, because I probably do. Just made the order. I fulfilled a gift off of somebody's wish list. Let me show you all what it was. If it'll focus. Curious George box set. I would show you all the person's name, but I don't want to do that because it's just doing it anonymous, anonymously because I feel that since I'm in a position where I'm able to help other people, why not do so? And plus, it'll help make Little Girls Christmas even better because I, I feel when I was young, I used to love Curious George and I still do even though I'm 24 right now, but who can not love Curious George? But now I'm just gonna finish up a logo design that I was working on. Wait, my hotel. I have to do one before for the oil company. That's local. And doing, I finished one last night for this e cycling or recycling company last night as well. But first, I wanna, I'm debating whether or not to take this to work because I don't wanna be sitting there solving it and then my coworkers is like, oh! Oh, Joseph is smart. Last night, I believe it was last night this morning. No, it was this morning. I had got some money out of a change thing downstairs, a dollar, because I forgot to get change for the bus. So I made sure yesterday to get a dollar and change to put it back in there. And that's another thing. I'm just feeling great today. I talked to my friend from New York. I'm glad I, I'm glad she called me because I really enjoy talking to her a lot. Well, I just got out of work. I got out earlier, thankfully, but I wonder if I'll be able to make the bus and hand it in front of us. Well, so I was able to make the bus, bus, <laughs> and I can tell that me running has really helped out because after I got to the bus, I was not tired at all, and I wasn't breathing hard as well. But anyways, the day at work was great. I got to practice my Spanish and continue to level up in that. I even was sort of able to help out this lady about some stuff that she wanted to buy, but she didn't have money to get it. But I, there's a couple of words that I have to write down and learn more as well. And some guys from Beijing, they also were teaching me some words, but I'm not even really sure if I remember them. It was how to sit, have a good day. It was like Jin, Jin Kun Nua, if that is even the correct way. But I have no complaints at all. And I believe the day started off great when I bought that gift for a mother and a daughter, or for a mother's kid leaving Chicago or somewhere. Setting the food line right now to get some things and some food for the house. I was gonna go to Barnes & Noble and get me the book that I want, wanted for my birthday. And, and I'm not gonna go because I am way too exhausted from work in the day. But there was one girl, well, woman or girl, whatever, with her, I don't know if it's her boyfriend, well, I guess it's her boyfriend, yeah. But, oh my God, she was, oh. And she was Hispanic, seeing those kind of women, 
Oh. <laughs> One guy had. <laughs> he was standing there looking, and he had said to me before he had let, walked away, "You have a great job." <laughs> Well, let me focus on driving and being safe. I think it's funny when people have cars like that that are tuned up just a little bit and they want to show off so bad. Or they sit and rev their engine. Goodness, see my these green lights are extremely bright. But one thing that I really like to see during Christmas time is the lights that people have put up outside of their house. Here on the snack aisle. I'll probably end up getting just some cookies and whatnot, but I'll talk to you all when I get out of here. I don't have to worry about copyright. I just got out of the food line and it is sprinkling out here. I don't think I had to pay it was $25 and I got all of this. I got bread, chips, peanut butter, juice, and whatnot. So I'm very happy with that. Ew, what? Does that throw up on the ground? I hope I didn't step in it. If y'all ever go to grocery stores, make sure to put your cart back in the correct spot. Because it's so annoying. I used to do carts at Target, so I understand what they're going through. But anyways, as I was saying before, I went off on a little random ramble, that please make sure to put your carts back where they belong. At least that's what I try to do because you don't have to worry about somebody just getting their car hit or you hitting somebody's car. And plus, it makes everybody's life bigger, better, and easier. I used to want one of those really bad. I used to want one and wanted to put some rims on it. That was when I was in high school and I lived in Hillsboro with my cousin, which I'm so glad I did not live there anymore because. In Hillsboro, that is a little city with nothing really to do for kids at all, except for partying. I was just thinking of one night when I was out skateboarding with the homies back when everybody was skating. I had cracked, I believe I cracked my board, and I drove all the way to the skate shop in Raleigh to get a new board, and I came back and set it up and continue skating that was when i was really into it i worked at sam's club and i, I remember how, i can only imagine how much money i spent on skateboarding with decks trucks wheels bearings shoes all the time i'll get a new deck i'll have a new deck like i was sponsored but i mean i still love skateboarding i do want to go tomorrow possibly i don't know if i'm in the mood for it but i am somewhat exhausted just heading to the bus now i'm surprised that it is this windy and it's actually a lot colder out today but it could be just on my part of town and i realized after eating noodles for lunch i feel tired I may have to resort to another alternative